Hey guys, Aaron here, lover of all things good. Coming back to you today with a new video, but a kind of a familiar recipe. So a few months ago when I first started, I actually started doing um, meatballs. This is my kind of signature first recipe I ever did. And today I'm actually bringing meatballs back. So I'm actually gonna combine some turkey and also some lean ground beef. And we're gonna actually have some great flavors. Just gonna add some oregano in there, a nice egg, some breadcrumbs, some cranberries, which are one of our kind of secret ingredients, and then also some rosemary. So it's gonna have a little bit of that, a little bit of this, and a whole lot of goodness, and a whole lot of yummy wow factor. Please subscribe, give me that thumbs up. Please turn on notifications. Thanks again for watching. Onion, green onions, tomatoes, jalapenos, we have some lean ground turkey, and some ground beef. I also have some eggs, we're gonna use those eggs. We're gonna use some, these are not raisins, these are actually dried cranberries. It's a nice kind of seasonal flavor, but also I just love it. It adds a nice little bit of sweetness to it. Some honey. So this is kind of from the original recipe too, but you can see that I actually used this honey back, I got it from the citrus hive, or the valley hive. Some rosemary there. I use that. And we got some garlic. I'm using a lot of garlic, actually. I'm using a lot of garlic. There's garlic right there. All right, so we have our tomatoes, we have our onion, we have our cranberries, we have some garlic, some eggs, some rosemary, some jalapenos, and our honey. And we also have our ground beef and our ground turkey right here, too. I am going to add some nuts in here. I have a little bit of a mixture of nuts. So I'm gonna use those nuts. I usually use almonds, but I don't have any. <laughs> so that's bad ingredient preparation. So I'm actually gonna use some of these, these are like water crackers. I'm gonna use some of these water crackers. I'm gonna crush those up nicely. And use these breadcrumbs. So we have that. I got more of those if I need. And I'm gonna get my food processor out and we're gonna basically kinda mash all that up and have a good time. So let's get to it. So I'm gonna do that right there. Okay, so now we're gonna do something different. We're gonna actually take our breadcrumbs and put them in here. This is not really bread, these are actually crackers, but we're gonna use crackers. <laughs> and we're gonna close this thing up. We're gonna basically do this, slice those like that. Make sure you never wash or kind of mess your eye up with these, cause like, I'm always guilty of like rubbing my eye after I use these. <laughs> and I'm like crying in the bathroom. So we're just gonna do that. I think we might save this for hydroponics. that and chop it and put it in here too. All right guys, so we have our breadcrumbs, we have our 
A little kind of compound of nuts and cranberries and rosemary. And I'm gonna basically take that, move it to the side. I'm going to basically open this up. It's like a, like, just open it like that, the normal way, like, like, a, normal, like a normal person. <laughs> Never mind. All right, so let's open this up. This is a, this is a pound of ground beef. You just dump that in there like that. And I'm gonna do a pound of turkey. And then a pound of turkey too. Okay. Look at that, nice. Add in some salt. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some pepper as well. Some honey. So I dump in about two tablespoons. <laughs> That's a lie. We have our jalapenos and our yellow bell peppers right here. Do those. Let me go ahead and add that in there. Just using a little spatula, my trusty spatula. And then we're gonna add in our breadcrumbs. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in our cranberries with nuts and garlic, and then also the nuts, garlic, and rosemary. Nice. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna go ahead and just, um, I'm gonna add a little bit of grape seed oil actually to this. Just a little bit. You don't really need much because you have a lot of fat from the meat. So, use some Pam, some spray. All right guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and start on our pasta sauce. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the rest of this bell pepper. Take the guts out of it right there. 